Oh, hi, this is Tim from Zinni House. And as you can see, there's a pretty good hole here and here, and there's even a nick on the corner of this edge piece. So I'm gonna focus on these three pieces right now. Again, this is my favorite uh, glue, Elmer's Carpenter glue that changes colors. It's not, it's not really glue, is or, it? No, it's wood filler, wood sorry. Filler. So just take a little dab and you kind of have to push it into the hole. You push it in first. And then as you, you can see, it's a smaller surface and it's starting to change color already. Right. So, and then this. So you like this pink stuff because it changes color yeah, when it's dry, it, it, right? Yeah, it spreads out, it starts to dry. And then here's a corner piece. So as I'm doing, I'm pushing it into the cracks and then adding just a little bit above it so it's it's a little bit overfilled. Okay. This doesn't shrink it, a lot. Okay. Not, but some not, stuff does, some does right? Yeah. yeah. That's why I like this stuff better. Okay. So on this corner piece, you kind of have to finesse it. You have to get a little bit on the side and a little bit on the edge on the front. And what I sometimes do is I just use my finger and push it in. Okay. And then the biggest part of this is being patient and letting it dry. Because once you start sanding it, you might pull that chunk off. So you have to kind of go slow. Oh, so so particularly if you've got a like larger amount yeah, in there. Yeah, so this right? one shouldn't be too bad. So okay. I'm a little bit overfilled. And sometimes these corner pieces might have to be done twice. Okay. So, and then again, we just wait for it to start drying. As you can see, this one's starting to change color already. Right. It's almost all brown, but the deep spot is gonna stay pink for a, this one will probably be about an hour to dry fully. Okay. okay. All right. So we'll come back to those. Yeah. All right, okay. sounds good. Hey, I'm back. We uh, are looking at our, our front of our, our our dresser here and we're gonna sand this out now. It's dry, but as you can see that the color is now beige, a light tan color compared to the pink. And we're gonna sand this out to see if we need to put a second coat on it. So what I use is I use a wood block with a, um, a medium grit sandpaper. This is 150 grit, and it's better with a block because it keeps it flat, especially on flat surface, surfaces. So I'm gonna gently sand this out. And on both sides. As you can see, it's going away, and then this big hole up here. Okay, now I can see that there's a little indentation on this one groove up here, on the one hole up here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more wood fill to that. I'm going to fill it in again, just lightly, lightly coat it pushing it in with my finger. And then I'm gonna to touch up these guys too. Both sides, the front and back and the side. And then we'll let that dry overnight and we'll see what it looks like in the morning. We'll give it a good drying this time. Like I said, sometimes I push that in with my finger And what we'll do is we'll let it dry overnight. Okay, see you in the morning. Hey, good morning, I'm back. Um, a little chillier out here this morning. Uh, we're gonna finish sanding this out and we're gonna see how we made out. So again, using the wood block with 150 grit paper, just lightly sanding on the side and then the front. Don't have to push very hard. And there we go. We have that one. That one's filled pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that one. And then here's our hole. Yep, there we go. And that's uh, and that's how we fill. Uh, we repair holes with wood filler.